down three games to one to the Kitchener Rangers in the Ontario Hockey League final, the Oshawa Generals fought back. Led by the scoring of Eric Lindros and the goaltending of Kevin Butt, the Generals rallied to take the series four games to three. It's Oshawa's third Ontario title in eight years. Laval Titan were going nowhere until early December when Pierre Kramer took over as head coach. Kramer installed a defensive philosophy and convinced the players to play the game his way. The Titan responded to sweep through the Quebec playoffs in just 10 games, including a 4-0 demolition of first place Victoriaville in the league final. The 1990 Memorial Cup on TSN. Today, featuring the Laval Titan against the Oshawa Generals. Hi, everybody. Peter Watts with you. Welcome to Cops Coliseum in Hamilton in the 1990 Memorial Cup. The opening ceremony is just underway. We'll have a good crowd for you tonight. We'll have a great hockey game. This tournament already one game old. 15 goals scored in the first game earlier today involving the Western Division champion Kamloops Blazers and the Kitchener Rangers, finalists from Ontario. The game, in fact, went to overtime. Three power play goals for each team. The winning goal, the result of a turnover. And it was Shane Stevenson, the veteran, number 19 for Kitchener, who wheeled and beat Curry Hirsch for the winning goal at 12-19 of the first overtime period. And so the Kitchener Rangers drop first blood in this 1990 Memorial Cup tournament. Now, what about the Oshawa Generals and the Laval Titan? The Titan, a 21-year-old franchise, Best player over the years, perhaps Mario Lemieux, led the team to the Memorial Cup in Kitchener in 1984, and yet this tournament has not been kind to the Titan over the years. They have won but one game in eight tries. The Oshawa Generals, a franchise founded in 1908. Great players over the years. Eric Lindros, the latest this year to lead the Generals, and whether or not they can possibly win their first cup since 1944, we'll find out. Here's Paul Romanuk. Bob, this could well be the Eric Lindros Memorial Cup. Not only does he lead the Generals to better performances, but you get the feeling, talking to guys in the other teams, they're so keyed up to play him that he's going to drag big performances out of them too. Well, there's no question that his reputation now precedes him. And coming into this tournament, you talk to the players in the other team, and they want to know all about him, they want to find out. And as you say, Paul, they want to raise their level a little bit. The thing that surprises me a little bit about Laval is that at this point, they don't look like they're going to put anybody on him. They don't have any special plans. Pierre Kramer has a very simple approach to hockey, and that is you play four lines, you play six defense, and you let the matchups fall where they may. And that'll be a crucial factor going into tonight's game because Lindros was dynamite in the Ontario League final. For the Oshawa Generals, Lindros is, of course, the big store. They also have a couple of guys, Ian Frazier and Brent Grieve, who have been to the Memorial Cup before. They were part of that 87 team that uh, blew it in the last game. Yeah, they did. Rick Kornacki was an assistant coach with that team. They lost to, Port, lost to uh, Medicine Hat in the final. The interesting factor for the Laval Titan is that they have 10 players back from last year's team and are probably a more improved team from last year. Last year they were a small, skilled team that did not do well in the Memorial Cup. This year they're a big, strong team with 10 guys Memorial Cup experience. The Quebec teams traditionally run into penalty problems with the Memorial Cup because they wear the full face shield. A lot of guys carry their sticks pretty high. It's an ongoing controversy. I don't know how they're going to solve it. The Quebec Federation of Hockey insists that all Quebec League players must wear the full face mask. In Ontario and the West, they're permitted to wear the half visor. Every year you hear the same story, and you'll see it again tonight, and it'll be much the subject of debate. You'll see the players on the ice pointing at each other's face masks and things like that. A big controversy that never seems to settle itself, yet it always results in a very chippy hockey game. Well, Val is a team that can play it tough. They like to play it tough. We'll see how tough they can play it against Eric Lindros of the Oshawa Generals. It is the Oshawa Generals and the Laval Titan coming up. Game one of this Memorial Cup tournament here on TSN. We'll have it all for you in a few moments.